So how do I represent this? How do I represent this wave? I I take this E and and let us try to understand that this is the direction of propagation. So so these are traveling waves. They are not standing still at the, at the same point. So so this is this is my E is directed along the x axis and this is my z axis. Okay? This is my z axis and and let us say I call this the maximum as E naught. Then I say E x is equal to E naught into sine this is what z okay sine z but since it can have since it can have have whatever frequency or wavelength whatever whatever wavelength i want so i write it as sine kz i could have written it as z but what what freedom does what additional freedom does k give me k does what it 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 is it is the wave number so if i go on increasing k then in the same 0 to 2 pi there will be more number of waves right understand now e naught sin kz is not a traveling wave it just stands still there with time it is just like that why because there is no time factor correct so what actually happens so what actually happens is is it has to be moving in this direction with with what with the uh, with time right then only it will be propagating right uh, let us try to understand this first so so let us try to draw a a e naught sin z how will it look it will look say something like that okay one cycle 0 to 2 pi this is pi okay sin z this is e naught sin z this is e naught e x why do i say because because it is the direction of x how do i draw e x is equal to e naught sin 2 z how do I draw that in the same 0 to 2 pi there will be two of these that means in this there will be one that means here there will be half so it has to be something like this and the other one the other one also will be something like that this is whole this sign 2z. So that's why we have put in this kz. Now let us try to draw. So, so if k is say 10, then in 0 to 2 pi, there will be 10 such full waves, right? Now, let us try to draw, let us try to draw. Uh, do I raise this? Let us try to draw e naught. sin kz minus phi where phi is phi is greater than 0 phi is a positive number so what happens now this is a very simple thing to understand whatever was happening here at say say at kz is equal to 0 okay the same thing happens here at kz is equal to phi whatever was happening here at kz is equal to pi by 4 the same thing here happens at kz plus pi by 4 so you understand at kz is equal to 0 so 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 this shifts by how much phi so the whole wave just shifts to the right by an amount by an amount phi okay so so the wave starts looking something like this.
it shifts to the right by phi. We get the point. It shifts to the right by phi. Now, I want it to be shifting to the right with time. You understand? So, what happens if I put and time is positive. So, what happens if I write something like this E x is equal to E naught sin k z minus omega t. Again, this term actually controls the frequency. Do not worry about it. What happens if I put it like that? As time increases, the omega t increases and this starts shifting to the right by, by that amount. So, from a stationary wave which E naught sin k z was, I have achieved this which is varying with time. Similarly, similarly this b is also changing. So, I write b, why? Why? Because it is directed along the y axis is equal to b naught sin k z minus omega t. We get that point? Becomes k z minus omega t. So, this two starts shifting to the right by, by how much? By, by this. So, they actually start, start traveling to the right and this is what I had wanted. You understand that? You understand how, how I have come here? Just by, just if you understand this, you will understand this. Okay? So, as t is positive, omega is positive, i, i, where omega is greater than 0, where k is greater than 0. Okay? In both of them. In both of them. So, this becomes a traveling wave. Okay? We will we'll, we'll next see what their wavelength and the frequency are. Okay?